Hi, I'm Aurora and today we're going to cook an Italian recipe called scalopini in the oven. I'll go do step by step all the way through to make this brand new recipe. What we're going to need today is four pork slash turkey slices, two packs of mozzarellas, four slight ham slices, 100 ml of tomato passata, some olive oil, flour, salt and oregano. For the first step, what we're going to do is we're going to take our oil and put a thin layer of it onto our roasting pan. You can shake your roasting pan around to move the oil. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take our flour and one at a time we're going to take our pork slash turkey slices and dip them in one at a time like this into our flour. We're going to take them one at a time, then we're going to turn it around have them all in. What we're going to do is we're going to shake it off and then we're going to put them on to a resting pan. We're going to do we're going to repeat it for all of them, but every time we're going to open overlap them a little bit, not too much, just a little bit. Like this. Like that. Do a bit of overlap. And then we're going to carry on with all our turkey slices. Make sure it's all covered and no not too many spaces or pink or the recipe will not come correctly done. You may stop you may pause this video to just do it as your pace and not do my as my pace as fast as I'm doing it. You can take as much time as you want. There, like this. You can move them all around, just move them everywhere, wherever you need to, like that. Now that we've done what we have to do, we're gonna take our ham and we're gonna cover all of the slices with it, like this. We're gonna take our slices, we're gonna put them down. You have to cover every single piece of the slice. Then we have another job to do. Take some overlapping pieces of ham, just put them on other ones, fix your ham as, as you like it. Okay, now that we've done that, we're going to take our Italian mozzarella. What we're going to do is we're going to put them each on slices, going down like this. So here, here, like this. We're going to do this till we cover all of the slices. But if you have spares, you can put them in between, like this. If I have spares, put them in between them. So it's like it's a snowy layer to add this. Okay, like this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our tomato sauce and we're going to put a small amount of salt in it. Okay. And we're going to take our oil 
You just want to put a bit of it as well in, in the tomato sauce. Like that. Then we're going to mix this all together. This recipe, um, I got it from my mother and I really enjoyed doing it. So I would like to share it with the world because it is good and it's really good, especially on a Sunday, to eat it. It, makes, it brings us, it brings everyone actually joy. So I think everyone should be able to do that. Okay, now that we've got it, I'm going, we're going to pour it all onto into our resting pan. Ready? Like this. Then what we're going to do is, with our spoon, we're going to spread it all out, everywhere. It's your option, you can use a spoon or you can just do both of this, but you could mix it all like this. All onto the sides and then use a spoon to cover it all. This is your choice, but I would suggest to put some oregano on top of it because it goes well with mozzarella and red tomato sauce. So I'm going to put some on my hand because I don't want to overload it with it. Okay, now I've got some of this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spread it all on like pizza. This is a piece of pizza. This is so fun to do, so I think every I'm suggesting for everyone to do this. You can cook it with multiple people, not just by yourself. It can be something like a surprise since it looks very good at the end. Okay. Especially look at the edges and things like this. Now, we're going to put this in the oven, 200 degrees, for 20 to 25 minutes. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take our recipe. Open our oven, put it in, carefully, not trying to pour ourselves. And put it in, and wait for 25, 25 to 20 minutes. Now that our recipe is ready, we're going to start taking it out. so much for watching this video. This looks so yummy. You should try it too. Come back for another episode.